Hi everybody, this is Queen Horror, and today I'm going to be reading a story from r slash Let's Not Meet, and the story is titled Man Who Wanted to Use My Mother's Telephone by Talukunja. I don't know how to pronounce your name, I'm sorry. This is technically my mother's story, although I am also in it. When I was four months old in 1994, my mom and dad had been having money issues, and as a result, he would often work late. One Wednesday night, around 9 p.m., there was a knock at the door, and my mom put me down in the living room and went to see if it was Dad, having forgotten his keys. She opened the door without looking properly, and a man was standing on the doorstep. He smiled at her and asked if he could use our telephone as his car had broken down. Flustered, she actually said yes and walked backwards a little to let him get to the telephone that lived on the hall table. However, he didn't stop at the table, and he kept walking up the hall towards her, she asked him what he wanted and what he was doing, pointing at the phone saying it was right there, and said her husband was getting out of the shower. This is where it starts to get really creepy. He stopped walking, cocked his head to one side, said he didn't hear the shower running, and then gave her a really big smile. He added that he thought it was just her at home now, wasn't it? Mom said at this point all she could think about was trying to make it to me, maybe dropping me out of a window trying to get us to the bathroom that had a lock, praying to any god or gods that were listening that dad would pull up in the driveway, anything. And then she heard a growl. Mom had been out getting the washing in from the outside laundry before she'd gone to check on me in the living room and had left the back door open a crack. Our Doberman, Pride, had gotten into the house and had walked to the kitchen into the hallway between Mom and this man. She started growling and showing all her teeth and Mom told him to get out now before she set the dog on him. Apparently, he freaked out and backed out of the house before taking off down the street. Dad got home about 20 minutes later. Felt like an eternity, according to Mom. The man was never caught, and we never saw him again. I really hope I never do, even though I wouldn't know him if I saw him. Thanks for listening, and until I show you another story, life is good, and I'm gone.